please welcome to the stage Michelle Dabrowski. I moved my world over, yes. <laughs> so I was thinking about the facial hair thing backstage. Yeah, what do you think? I'm actually a big fan of the stubble. Hey, I'm, I'm you're not my favorite guest. Including, you want to be a sidekick? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> well, it you just had to like the stubble. So I'm, I'm liking the stubble, but I don't look nearly as good in a suit. No. Oh. I bet you do. I don't know. <laughs> you're saying. It's entirely possible. Well, uh, you were on TV, just like uh, the, the, the fellow to your right. Do you want to see you on TV? Sure. It's been, it's been a little while, right? It, it, you'll notice from the film that I'm very, very old. This is 1985, and it looks so dated. <laughs> so, one is like worse than the next. I actually um, sat down and watched this for the first time in like 20 years the other day. Um, I don't think I look all that different, except my hair got smaller. <laughs> well, let's let the YouTubers be the judge. <laughs> Today, these students from Bethpage High School, Robert Sanfilippo, Michelle Dabrowski, and Joe Ryan, will compete against Luanta High School on AnswerWise. Friction between the United States and Russia goes back longer than many people realize. What famous statement of foreign policy was prompted in part by the Russians establishing a settlement on the California coast in 1812? Okay, Michelle? The Monroe Doctrine? The Monroe Doctrine it is for 10 points. All right, Michelle? Crete. Crete, yes. Crete, Michelle says. Is this the right answer? Yes, it is for 10 points. <laughs> Michelle. President at birth. President at birth, that's right, for 10 points, Beth Page. Michelle. Two. It is two. Brahms. Brahms. Ireland. Ireland. Margaret Mead. Margaret Mead. Aborigines. Aborigines. Michelle. A soft answer. A soft answer. Jersey and Guernsey. Jersey and Guernsey, that's right. Oh. All right, <laughs> Michelle. Okay. <laughs> Congratulations to you, Beth Page. You uh, have won, and you will be back. And uh, I really have enjoyed today's game. I hope you have. <laughs> Your team won. Wow. We won. Now, how many of those questions did you answer out of all of them? Most of them. Yeah. Yes. yeah. She was the captain of the team. Yes. And, and I just used some creative editing. I mean, if we had the time, I would have put the whole 30-minute uh, episode on. But it, um, You hit the highlights. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good part. You got to get any of them wrong. Maybe really. she missed one. I, I did. I remember, like, I got the first or second question. This was about the third round, actually, because we had done a few rounds off camera. Yeah. And I'm like... Your show, they did all the parts in one day. They just kept, you know, bringing people in and switching them up. And are you guys, uh, I'm sure maybe some other people might pick up on this. Are you guys in hot tubs when you answer these? <laughs> 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 oh, don't I wish. Um, the, the guy sitting to my left with, with the blonde streaks, he yeah. was like my best friend since kindergarten. And oh. the, kid sitting, the other guy sitting next to me was like the new kid. Mm -hmm. So. Um, <laughs> did you, um, so speaking of Robert and Joe, uh, are, 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 have you stayed in touch with uh, either um, both of them? I have not actually stayed in touch with them, but now I sort of have incentive to go try to dig them up, you know? Um, to, know to let them know that I rediscovered the fame of my youth. <laughs> <laughs> Were you um, like, come on, this is, a, this is a really close quarters, right? I mean, you're working with them a lot in order to win, and in order to, to represent Beth Page. Um, did any romances bloom? <laughs> oh, you know, I, I thought I sensed the light in Joe Ryan's eyes. <laughs> but, um, Joe, if you're out there, <laughs> I'm single again. <laughs> I'm a smart guy. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, what was interesting about this is right afterward, uh, they, they said, Congratulations, you won. I had a good time. I hope you guys did too. <laughs> and everybody was yeah. Yeah. yeah, it was the prize. What do you get? I bet there's like a there were like still shots of the prizes. I think the ultimate prize, which we did not win, was a trip to Washington D.C. and a set of the World Book Encyclopedias. And then I promised us free T-shirts. And um, is it okay if I mention that I didn't win? 
we didn't ultimately win. Sure. What, uh, what, what is answer wise? Answer wise, apparently it's back. My brother still lives on Long Island, and he said he found it recently. It's back on the air, and it was like one of these like high school quiz shows that I think all local high schools had on their local public television sponsored. Are you from Long Island? Uh, yeah, my uh, I live in Valley Street right now. Yeah, it was sponsored by the Dairy Barn. Okay. Yeah, yeah. No one outside of Long Island understands the concept of the Dairy Barn. I don't think it's a drive-up convenience store where you could buy beer and cigarettes and milk and uh, you know popos and stuff. So. So um, you, you show <laughs> up, you drive through, and you get beer. Yes. And you drive on. Yes. Yeah. And bring it right to a refrigerator. <laughs> yes, naturally. And to they, drink later. Yes, yeah, and they were our sponsors. Um, <laughs> 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 I love Long Island. So yeah, it was one of these, I, I know that, you know, I had a couple of friends in college, because I went to a very nerdy college, that were also on their local high school play shows, so mm -hmm. it's sort of a bonding thing. There's like, you know, variations in like Maryland and Virginia, and you know, ours were just, I mean, the production values were horrible. That was half the studio, the other half was like, News 12 Long Island or something. I think it was like the dawn of cable. Yeah. It was the dawn of cable, and like the other half was like, you know, the local cable show. And mm -hmm. this was, I was like, well, this is really tiny, and there's there's the local news, and there's us. And um, and the studios were just really, it was like, it would fit inside here. And um, did you have a lot of school pride? Uh, I did have a lot of school pride. And I tried to get in a little sarcastic rejoinder because um, we had. Um, basically destroyed our ball field by deciding to put a bonfire <laughs> in a dumpster for our pep rally. I didn't go to a terribly academic school. <laughs> um, so, um, yeah, I was sort of like a well-liked geek, you know, I thought that was awesome when I was on TV. Yeah, yeah, you were great. Yeah, it was cool. It's like, that was the one they did on Smack, you know? Yeah. And, um, was this the first time you were on TV? Actually, no. Believe it or not. <laughs> I had like weird little TV experiences before I was on like even more obscure public television. I was on Polish public television Polish. when I was a kid. They filmed a Christmas party at the Polish embassy. And it was like a bunch of little girls in ribbons, you know, playing cool dolls. I had ribbons, I know, it's so weird. But I'm not really a ribbon kid, but... Um, well, I do, uh, I, I did know that you, you gave me two episodes. Yes. And uh, so you were, you guys won, and then you advanced, and then uh, in the second episode, um, what's the name of the host? Oh, uh, Jim Reed. Jim Reed? Well, Jim Reed asks Michelle Dabrowski, the captain of the Beth Page uh, AnswerWise team, uh, a question. So let's uh, let's see how well uh, Michelle Dabrowski answers that question. Let's start with Michelle Dabrowski. <laughs> Michelle, captain for Beth Page, where is Beth Page High School located? Beth Page, obviously, but tell a little about the area. <laughs> where is Beth Page? Well. It's um, the western end of Suffolk. It's fairly close to, um, you know, the Suffolk County border. We're not too far from the studio. Okay. Now, I am going to give you 30 seconds from the time I say go to sell Bethpage High School. Go. Okay, well, we're a very school-spirited school. Our, you know, bonfires and pep rallies are really something. <laughs> and um, we have, we're, we're a small school. We get along very well. We have very good relations with the faculty and between the faculty and the students. Okay. Beth Page is sold. You did it in uh, 15 seconds. Hmm. <laughs> We're <All> concise. Right. <laughs> Very concise. Nice job. We're using the vocabulary right there at the end. Yeah. I, mean, I thought I was going to get in trouble from even mentioning it because people didn't really get hurt when the bonfire blew up. <laughs> but it was a little scary. You know, <laughs> they didn't want to ruin the baseball field. So they piled all the wood and the gasoline in a dumpster and, and threw some matches and the cheerleaders were all cheering and the football players were all running around it and the thing just exploded. So I figured I'm just going to be all badass and get that in on public television. I'm going to get my butt kicked. I'm going to get in so much trouble and nobody, you know, nobody noticed. Is um, Beth Page High School still around? It is still around. So Beth Page High Schoolers, if you're out there, <laughs> you hear the pranks that they pull, you do your part. That's right. Make a, a bigger explosion. Yeah. Oh, that's school spirit. We do condone that on the spotlight. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. things up is awesome. <laughs> so w when you, um... So did the, did the threat of being on TV, when you knew this was going to be, answer-wise, was going to be televised, mm -hmm. did that encourage you to take part, or did it discourage you? I was pretty excited. I was actually pretty excited. Um, you know, I had done, like, the school play thing off and on. Um, I was in the school band. I, you know, I, I liked performing, but I wasn't, like, a real performance type. I thought it would be cool. I was like, I'm going to be on TV. This is awesome. So I think I took it a little too seriously. <laughs> Um, people I'd show this to, so I looked all really intense. So, oh, you really haven't changed. <laughs> um, but I had a good time doing it. Um, I had a good time winning. I was very competitive, even back then. 